Hi everyone, welcome back to the IB Chemistry online class. Today we'll be covering part 2 of atomic structure on the topic of spectroscopy. So some background on what spectroscopy is, is analyzing light emitted by energized atoms. These atoms release in the form of radiant energy called photons. Normally these atoms are examined and analyzed with an instrument called a spectroscope. The main spectrum of energy levels used come from the hydrogen atom since it is the simplest atom to examine. Here we have six different energy levels that have been named to date. Further energy levels have been demonstrated but are unnamed. The first energy level, the ground state, is the Lyman series and it falls in the ultraviolet area. Balmer series falls in the visible light area and Passion, Bracket, Pfund, and Humphreys fall in the infrared area. Now in this next slide, it shows an example of what an energy level diagram may look like. Any arrow that falls to a certain energy level corresponds to that series and will release energy according to its energy state shown on the left hand side. Also, the lower energy you are, the shorter the wavelength is. So for instance, the Lyman series has a shorter wavelength, while the Passion series has a longer wavelength. One more quick note is that when you are dropping energy levels, for example, from n equals three to n equals one, energy is being released. But vice versa, if you are rising in energy levels, from n equals 1 to n equals 3, then energy is being absorbed. Alright, let's move on to an example question. Which electronic transition in a hydrogen atom releases the most energy? Well, here are four different answers. Let's work through this in steps. So first, here's a visual representation of each answer from the question. As we just learned previously in the video, we know that dropping energy levels is releasing energy and rising energy levels is absorbing energy. So because of that, we can eliminate two answers. Now you may be thinking, D looks like there is more energy since the arrow is longer. And in fact, D is the correct answer, but let's find out why. From these energy formulas, we can see that energy is proportional to frequency, f, and f is equal to c, the speed of light, over lambda, which is the wavelength. As we can see, energy is inversely proportional to the wavelength, which means that a shorter wavelength will produce more energy. So like we discussed earlier, the lower energy levels have shorter wavelengths, while the higher energy levels have longer wavelengths. Shorter means more energy released, so the answer is D, n equals 2 to n equals 1. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or have any topics you would like to discuss. Bye!